Ready position. Relax. Concentrate. On Dantian. Relax. It's easy to say, but some people feel very difficult to do. In this practice, I would like to introduce a simple way to relax. We relax from the head to the toes. Now, relax the head, neck, shoulders, arms, elbows, wrists, hands, back, chest, abdomen, buttock, hips, Legs, knees, ankles, feet. Just relax part by part of the body till you feel relaxed completely. Usually when you feel relaxed, you will feel the upper part of the body very light. And feet becomes very heavy. Concentrate on Dan Tian. Dan Tian is located on the midline, three to four fingers underneath the navel. It's a bull-shaped area. This is the home of Qi, of our life energy called Qi. In our Tai Chi practice, quite often we need to think about send the qi back to Dantian, or concentrate on Dantian. When we are ready, we start the commencing form. Take a step, shoulder width, raise up to shoulder level, sinking down, relax. Continuously. Bend your knees slightly. This will set up a good tune for the rest of the forms. Set up the height of our gravity. Also set up a good relaxed and peaceful mood. Hold the ball, cultivate the energy. Take a step, part horses man to the left. Rotate, hold the ball, part horses man to the right. Rotate, hold the ball, part horses man to the left. From this movement, you can see we do three bow steps in a row. Make sure gravity is moving on one level height, not goes up and down. Also, when we do this part of this man, try to use our waist to guide the movement. When the waist is moving, you can avoid the tension build up in the shoulders. Okay, so we'll do again. Use the waist to guide. Go. And both step, make sure not stand on one line. Not stand on one line. Stand on two lines. Continue, hold the ball, white crane spreads its wings. White crane spreads wings. 
We steal the sand, use the waist, guide the movement, and do a curve movement of the, the hands. Doing a curve, they can avoid stiffness or any tension build up. Feels like the body is sitting in a balloon, full and gentle. There is a very common mistake here, may happen. Is some people will think Tai Chi is very soft or gentle. So they will do it a little bit too slack. No energy inside, too slack. So the proper way should be full of energy, extended gracefully. That's the way of our uh, white crane spreads its wings. Rotate, hold a fish, brush your knee, twist step. Rotate, hold a fish, brush your knee, twist step. Rotate, hold a fish, brush your knee, twist step. So this is another three bow steps. The same, need to let the gravity stay the same level. And use our waist to guide the movement. And the push need to be in a curved line, not to push in straight line. When we hold a fish, make curved line, semicircle movement. This is to hold a yin yang fish. Brush your knee and twist step. Pull in. Sinking down, raise up. Hands strum the root. This is a very small movement, but we need to make sure. Pull in, sinking down, and raise up. The feeling is there. And also the tip of the fing fingers, the same level as your nose. Tip of the fingers, the same vertical line as the toes. The hands strum the root. Rotate, step back, four hands. Step back, four hands. Step back, Four hands. Step back. Four hands. So this is four steps. Go backwards. Make sure the waist is guiding the movement. And the arm is doing a long distance curve movement to push. This can avoid a tension build up on the shoulder and neck. Right. Do it very smoothly and naturally. Now I'm going to introduce the attacking and defending meaning of those movements. Uh, the reason why I would like to introduce the attacking and defending meaning is because all of Taiji movements come from the martial arts. If we know the meanings of those movements, it can help us to remember how to do it properly. So we start from commencing form. Part horse man is to pull the enemy's arm and then use another, another arm to push or press the opponent. 
Usually, you can put the leg behind the opponent's leg, and then you push, can make the opponent lose balance. White crane spreads the wings. Is to use one arm, one hand to pull another hand, and the other hand can do the attack with elbow or shoulder. If the opponent is behind you, can use the shoulder and elbow to attack. If in front of you, you can. If two fists come in, you can use one hand to break one fist away, another hand to. Break or to block another fist away, and then you can kick to the opponent's groin area or lower abdomen area. Hold a fish, brush your knee, and push. Is to defend with the left hand. If, for example, someone is kicking, you defend and then attack. Hands, strum the lute. Use one hand to hold enemy's elbow. Another hand hold enemy's hand, and then push. That's the meaning of this、uh, movement. And step back wall hands is <laughs> attack. Step back, attack. Right. Now I would like to introduce the breathing of these、uh, six movements. Ready position. We breathe naturally. Inhale, take step. Exhale. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, sinking down. Bend your knees. Inhale, holding. Exhale, parting. Inhale, holding. Exhale, parting. In holding, ex parting. In holding, ex spreading. In holding, ex pressing. In holding. Expressing, in holding, expressing, in pulling, exhale, rise up, inhale, rotate, exhale, push. In rotate, exhale, push. In rotate, exhale, push. In rotate, exhale, push. Okay, so that's the breathing of our. Six forms.